What's up? Matthew DeMore here with the Daily Space or Track View. Today we're going to be listening to Keizo's newest album, Overload. If you're not really familiar with Keizo, he's a LA based artist. He's been around for a minute now, at least six years. He makes some of the hardest music that I've heard in the past two years. He tends to make more hardcore music, trap, dubstep, but he's also made more melodic and dancey songs as well. I personally first started to know of Keizo four years ago when he released on Cannibal and Records. And I just remember Charlie Darker did a remix for the song Crank that Keizo was on, so I was like, okay, Keizo, pretty cool. But I didn't really hear any more releases for at least two years. He's basically completely off the radar for me. He had maybe like one release on Dimac that wasn't really too compelling for me. But then one day during spring break, me and my friend just got a brand new gym membership. So what do you do when you first go and get a gym membership? You dick around for three hours with all the different stuff you just paid for. We eventually got to this bike studio and all around us was the JBL speakers and we started just playing all this deep different EDM and just biking as hard as we could. We were going fast on these bikes for at least 20 minutes at this point. But eventually, I kind of ran out of songs on my sort of playlist at the time with all the new music. So I was like, okay, what could I play that would make me and my friend go even harder, even faster at these bikes? And this was just when everyone started reposting this Keizo track with these two dogs running called Can't Stop. And I remember listening to it on these crappy $15 Bluetooth headphones you can get on Amazon and being like, okay, this is kind of cool. 150 BPM, really crunchy kind of bass. I don't know how this is gonna go. This might be a little too weird. Might not hit right on these JBL speakers. Don't have anything else to play. Might as well go with the chance here. Play the track, melodic open, and then when this thing drops, instantly my friend just starts shredding super fast on the bike. Starts yelling like, ah! And we're just going for that entire drop, just balls to the wall until a lady that works at the daycare at this place runs in and says, you guys can't be on the aux cord. That's for instructors only. And we're like, we've been playing music for 30 minutes. You just realize now. So then I turn off the music and then that's when I became a fan of Keza because he was the only person that could make music crazy enough that could get me kicked out of this gym. And two years later, we have his debut album, Overload. It's 11 tracks. I haven't listened to any of this album, none of the singles. I don't think he snuck in any previous releases on this one, so I'm excited to get to it. Overload, Keizo, first reaction. Over the edge. First track is Follow You with Devin Oliver. Good opener so far. We didn't see him opening his shows with the song. So much clearer than his uh, Seed of Snake mix already. Oh yeah! Oh, I like this switch up, this is good. I don't want to go back to my Wait, I'm already home. In my basement. Recording a video. I think that was a great opener to this. I could definitely see him playing that as the first song when he's on his tour. Damn, that's how you drop. Like, I knew it was possible, but I just didn't expect him to do that. I completely expected another dubstrip drop, but... I mean, I might be biased, but I really, really like that happy hardcore kind of style. At least for one of the drops. I'm curious to see this spring-summer who's going with the happy hardcore kind of drops. Um, more so than just the chorus that kind of champion that kind of music. Next track is Overload, featuring Mika Martin. Wow! Fire the fucking laser! Double drop! We ain't ready! So 
far the base design has also been really, really interesting and cool. You know, that kind of goes without saying when it comes to Keizo and some other artists, but so far I've been pretty impressed. A lot of interesting stuff. It's not like I didn't think that it would be good base design, but just sounds sounds good, dude. Just gotta say it. It's just like, oh yeah, Migos has sick triplets flows. Keizo's got sick bass all the fucking time. It's just how it is. Next up, all right then, featuring the Zealots. This might be a producer collab. Never heard of the Zealots. It was a I know from StarCraft 2. I like for I Ooh, that guitar is gonna be. Like I'm in a hot. I feel like that drop kind of came out of nowhere there. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was a little out of there. I like the vocal a lot more on this one than some of the other ones. Like that, Chainsaw. Just ends too. No outro. Ah, oh, that second drop was so good. Some of the lasers in that remind me of a uh, Herobus remix of Destroy Myth Lasers. Because there was lasers in that song. I like that song a lot. I like the vocal too. Uh, the first drop was a little out of nowhere, but the drum switch up in that second section was. I don't think it'd be too confusing for audiences live because the drums switch kind of seamlessly, at least to me. Like it's just a constant, constant bop. Uh, next up is. Right on time featuring 12 Planet and Kill the Noise. Fuck mm. with this! Wow, this is very interesting. It's like almost an anthem track, but at the same time, it kind of bangs. That was a good surprise. I didn't expect it to be such a hard bass sort of song. And this is something I just noticed. No matter how pretty and melodic Cable gets, he'll never use a piano. Never heard a piano once. Next up is Exhale featuring Mika Martin. Mika Martin is here a couple times in this. <laughs> I'm doing, but you feel it. <laughs> so it's like jungle terror, sort of it. Yeah, take off my sweatshirt. Sweating. <laughs> That was definitely the first track that I'm probably not going to be going back to. I don't think the vocal really resonated with me. There wasn't too much melodic going on and just not too memorable, perhaps except for the very last 16 bars of the, la of this, of the second drop. Next up, Feel the Power by... Keizo and Mika Martin again. Hey, hey, hey. 
This is some face melting shit right there. Uh. Ooh! Definitely feel the power on that one. My base is actually super cool, so I'm gonna put back on my sweatshirt. I can definitely see the people riding the rails, really being a fan of that one. That was a really wild bass, especially in the last part where halfway through, the bass sort of just winds up and pitches all the way up. Sick stop, dude. Next up, we are the Monsters. Has every song I've so far? Like something that would be on UKF dubstep to be honest. Is UKF even around? I was to UKF in five years? Six? I definitely recommend We Are the Monsters to anyone that's more into a traditional dubstep. Not really my favorite song. I kind of heard it before and Slightly different forms. Like I said, kind of reminds me of like a UKF dubstep or like some Monster Cat song. So yeah, I'm gonna go past on that one. Next up is Floating. Like the arm in the back. Ooh, I like the break. This is interesting. Great surprise. That could have came in two or three tracks sooner, to be honest. I'm gonna have this one right now, actually. I like this song a lot. Like, and that's gonna catch a lot of people's attention, I think. I think that song, very, very interesting. I'm telling you, if people keep on making these drum and bass songs, I think it's gonna catch on this summer. The, when the energy's right, drum and bass just takes off at a show. Second last song, In My Head. Wait, the song without a book feature, is it you singing? Or is it just like... Oh, this is grinding. This is about to be a record. Little fidgety bass. But of course, this is Welcome Records. Some acoustic drums to finish it off. I really like that song. The uh, vocals weren't too overbearing, just really simple element of the song, and that reminds me of like Must Die or like Aptex sort of sound. Last song, Waiting Featuring Wares. It's supposed to be an anthem. I can, I can already feel it. For you. Oh! Throw some elbows! Throw some elbows! This is filthy, but this is. This is the best for last. 
Mark for a second drop. The signs you tell, but we'll see. There's an airstrike going on in this song. It's crazy. Jeez, are you crazy? Definitely saved one of the best for last, that's for sure. That song had probably the craziest basses on this whole album, and it didn't switch up to any other sort of style and uh, drum pattern. Just stayed straight dubstep. Really great bass design. I wish these kind of songs that didn't have the super long verse, chorus, vocals, and just sort of chops were kind of layered throughout the album because it kind of got a little hard to keep listening to the more similar punk vocal over and over again. But overall, I think this album kept the style and stuck with it, but also worked really well within that space. Right on Time was a great switch up from the first three songs with that sort of down tempo. Not movement tone, but definitely like 108 BPM sort of beat. Also Floating was a later great change up for the album that really kind of kept things fresh. This may be only one or two songs that I'd take out because they weren't too memorable and were too similar to some of the other songs in the album, but overall this is like a 45 minute demo of what I like about Keizo. Uh, I know he's going on tour of this album. Uh, with 4B, Gammer, Just Junior, Double O's gonna be there too. I can't go because it's on a Thursday and I got class on Fridays, but I'm definitely gonna see him over this summer. Definitely gonna go to a festival or something where he's at because this music's super fun. I think it's more towards the future end of uh, what EDM's gonna start to become. I'd be curious to see what these sort of songs do live. Um, if he's playing Ultra and he's on stream, I'm definitely gonna watch that at the very least on top of whatever else I do. What do you guys think of the album? I really thought that this is a great introduction to 2018. Definitely my favorite release of 2018 so far. Like and comment uh, what you thought of this album. Subscribe if you like more EDM stuff. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos once I get back to school. I got a permanent setup and I'm on my cold ass basement. Hope everyone enjoyed the reaction, enjoyed the album. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.